name of the driving school? Daly's Truck Driving School, 770-614-6022. If you want to learn how to, you want to earn your commercial driver's license, well, give them a call and go to their classes, and then they'll teach you how to drive a truck. Uh, I'm sure they won't mind that I'm putting in a plug for them. So far, I'm feeling pretty good about the school, and, 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 and I am enjoying the training. We have to uh, do a pretty thorough inspection on these rigs. We have a, a list of things. Can't hardly see that. And this is just one page. I have four pages here. We have to name the parts, such as the alternator, radiator, uh, the turbo, the air compressor, uh, the water pump. Let's see, where's the water pump in this thing? Right back, back there. And then uh, the governor, which controls the air going into the air tanks that operates the air brakes. It shuts the compressor on and off. We've got the air filter. Uh, there's our dipstick for the oil. We fill the oil up. We have to check that. Check the springs and the spring hanger, the, the U-bolts. And then down in here, we have to look at the brakes, uh, the slack adjusters, brake chamber. What we're looking for are cracks, broken pieces, hardware missing or loose. Checking the hoses and the clamps. No cracks, nothing broken, nothing loose. And down in here, look at the brake pads, the drums, the, the outside wall of the tires, the treads. So, uh, shock absorber. Uh, look at all these lugs right here and if there's rust around them that's a sign to that there's they're loose looking for rust cracks broken parts make sure inside the hub here there's uh, oil that it's up to level it should be and check the valve stone make sure it's capped also, we have to check this belt right here, make sure that it has no more than three-quarter inch of give. And every one of these hoses and all the hardware and clamps have to be checked. Okay. And then we can go to the other side. Earlier, I called this the alternator, and then I got to the other side of the truck and saw that's not so. Uh, different truck engines have different components on different sides of the truck. So anyway, this is not the alternator here. It's on the other side. This here runs the air conditioner. Okay. And then, uh, okay. Well, moving right along. I'm not a mechanic. Never was. But this is interesting stuff to know. And plus, uh... Well, it's what we do to assure safety on the road. Okay, I'm on the other side of the truck now. Here's the alternator right here. And check that belt there. And then, uh, steering shaft, uh, Pendleton arm, and uh, the drag link. And we're looking at all the hardware. Every trick? Every four hours, something like that? Post trip. Yeah. All kind of goodies in here. All right, there's your uh, coal for your um, coolant system there. Uh, your antifreeze. Okay. Oh, you're the one. Play back on what you're saying on that. I look at it. Huh? 
Okay, back here is the air supply line to the air brakes. And the blue one is the service brakes. With the, that's the one you use the brake pedal in the truck. And then the red one is the emergency brakes. I'll talk more about that in another video. But uh, And then the green one is the electrical line. And you have to hook them all up to the truck. But these are not allowed to drag here on the catwalk. Uh, they have to be suspended up or held up in the air. Okay. But uh, we have to inspect this thing from front to back on both sides and get down in there and uh, look at all the various parts of the brake systems, the wheels, the drive shaft, uh, uh, the landing gear, everything, everything from the reflectors to the condition of the side of the trailer. Uh, we're looking for holes, uh, rust, cracks. Uh, but uh, if I misnamed any of the parts for all you pros out there, forgive me. This is, I'm practicing here. I'm still learning. But uh, 18 wheels on this thing. A lot of lug rigs, uh, lugs that got to be checked. Altogether, uh, we're told to take about 30 to 45 minutes doing a thorough inspection. And so, now right now we're practicing and we're talking it out while we're doing it. So, and I'm sure as it all becomes routine, uh, you know, we can be just as thorough but a, a bit more efficient about what we're doing. But we're checking everything from end to end, all the way around. Yeah. I've become impressed with uh, the safety factor. Uh, uh, beginning to get more respect than I ever have for uh, the truck driving industry. When we start the truck up, we have to build up the air pressure or we have to supply the air tanks with uh, air and get the pressure built up to a certain amount. Uh, and we have a gauge inside the truck that shows us uh, how much pressure we have in there. And so uh, there's some emergency um, slots. Uh, levers that automatically come out when the pressure gets too low and uh, you got to know those things because if you're on the highway uh, and when the warning signals come on well that tells you you need to get uh, somewhere safe off the road or park the truck as soon as you can because uh, the brakes are going to automatically the emergency brakes will automatically spring into position so uh, Anyway, that's not the most eloquent explanation you have of that, but I'm practicing. And, uh, and gee, uh, I have to make these short videos. But anyway, uh, so we have to let the truck run a little bit and build up the air pressure and then test the brake system. That is your emergency parking and your uh, service brakes. All that has to be done uh, before you hit on the road. And today, it looks like we're going to be practicing uh, backing up straight. Yep, never hurts. We take, uh, each one of us gets 15 minutes worth of practice, and then we switch drivers. Okay.